Welcome to another real-time trade. In this video, I'll discuss several ways to manage the trade to empower you to design a trade management model that suits your unique mental wiring. This is the stuff of the real game. Now let's join the trade in progress. Hey guys, Zar here. Just entered this trade. Just pop right back to my entry here. So there's another uh, chance here. A frustrated time with my OBS software, so I had to come in here a little bit late. Short the NASDAQ, guys. This is a trend continuation trade. Impulse wave down, correct the wave up through the twilight zone, and then some contrasting um, information here on the sisters, right? Rallied in to the sisters, looking like a reversal opportunity. As I sent to my group, and the recommendation, of course, is to do nothing. And so it didn't do anything. And uh, now we have this breaking down here, fail to reach a new high here, fail to reach a new high, fail to reach a new high, several attempts over uh, VWAP, and then breaking down here on the NASDAQ in particular. Two minute chart on the right hand side. And target one has been hit, guys. So the uh, one are all or nothing traders left the game with full profitability. And just to be clear, this is a trend continuation trade, right? Impulse wave down here in the New York session on the NASDAQ. Right from the get-go, we popped up a little bit right in the open, if you remember, sold down. And I took a short here, a nice big short actually, on the S&P, right, which was an equivalent move. And then we had the twilight zone. I left, went for a nice workout, came back, warned my group not to do anything in here because this rally which looked like a reversal signal rallied us right into VWAP right right into VWAP by the time there was any kind of a reversal style signal all three of these were tapping VWAP and very very often what happens after an impulse down corrective up into uh, the end of the twilight zone we get a rounding over, failure to reach new highs on all three, and then a breakdown, break of structure. That's what you saw here. Entry on a shift candle, which was a good time to enter. Doesn't mean it's going to keep going lower. We have no idea. But the trade idea is very much bearish daily. We are tapping support. Doesn't matter. This is a bearish configuration. Bearish 30 minute, and then became bearish one minute and two minute as well. This is a two minute. Of course, the one minute is the same. Hopefully that helps, guys. We're going to sit now on uh, pause and we'll see this thing play out. And target two has been hit, one and a half hour. So the one and a half hour all or nothing trader has left the game as well with full profitability. We'll see what happens from here. Again, guys, just a reminder, this is a bearish daily. This is a bearish 30, bearish uh, three sisters on the uh, lower time frame. This is a two minute time frame now. This is trade's been well over an hour, by the way. Entered at uh, 210 and it's now 328. So sitting in this thing for a long time, just waiting for it to play out. But impulse down, corrective up, impulse down, trend continuation trade with that um, bearish daily. I want to also take you over to the 30 minute here and I'll show you. Uh, I don't use Fibonacci ratios in my trading anymore at all. I really have simplified things a lot, but I can see ratios when, just because I've been doing it for so long. And this would, this is a 618 or very, very close to it, no doubt. Let me uh, pull up the old indicator here. And we will, uh, yeah, there we go. So this nice retracement to a 618 and then topping and, and uh, coming on down from there. So again, that alarm is telling me we're three minutes away from the last half hour of the day. I have these alarms set, by the way. I do encourage others to do the same thing. For me, it's every 30 minutes, about three minutes before the 30 minute mark so that I can uh, check where things are since I typically enter after a 30 minute has closed. All right, so there we are. Again, trend continuation trade. I wanna make sure that I'm explaining my trades in, in as much detail as possible. That has been a request and 
I'm happy to do so. And I've been getting good feedback on the last few videos that I sent out, giving more and more detail about my mindset and what I'm thinking about here. Uh, but this one is, uh, I think, pretty straightforward. So two trades today, my typical two trades a day, uh, sometimes three if my, you know things are really, really moving. I took the first one going down here, a nice big S&P, by the way. This is the NASDAQ, but it was the same move or a very similar move. Uh, short there and then again short here, right? So the two short legs on a bearish day kind of makes sense. Did not trade the pullback. This was during the twilight zone and then running, running right into... A VWAP as I explained earlier. So really taking the impulse down, corrective up to the 618 Fibonacci, which also happened to be VWAP and then failing. These are two doji candles, by the way. I typically ignore doji candles. It's a contracting pattern as well with an inside candle after a, an outside candle, obviously. And so these become null and void. The next one is down. Now the reality is too, guys, while I'm here, look, let me show this to you. Everybody's brain is wired a little differently. This is a very clean and clear uh, trend continuation. Impulse down, corrective up, impulse down. But you might be saying, well, no, this is a zone reversal, right? So you might put in a, a new zone marker here. And I will sometimes do this, by the way, as well. And now all of a sudden, the break below the prior candle, it's a doji candle, but the break below, this is a zone reversal trade, right? But to me, it's within a bigger picture trend continuation impulse corrective impulse right hopefully that makes sense guys and uh, we'll keep watching this trade and see where we go from here it's getting messy now into this last half hour of friday also options expiration friday where wacky things tend to happen i think we're seeing that here by the way but we can still make money if we're doing the right things see you in a bit And we finally did it, guys. This trade's gone for an hour and 37 minutes. <laughs> long trade. These are two-hour candles. Uh, two-minute candles, pardon me, on the right-hand side. So you can see how long this thing took. A lot of patience on this one. Again, uh, impulse down, corrective up, impulse down. I know I'm repeating myself here, but I've been asked for repetition in lots of detail. You'll see that all four models uh, profited fully, which is nice to have. Two trades today, one short here on the S&P and another short here, staying in line with the daily bearish bias. Pretty clean, all said and done. Uh, I appreciate you being here, guys, all week. And, of course, here on Friday, uh, late into the day, where oh, there's only seven minutes left in the session. So we were right down to the wire here. Thanks for your support. Thank you for clicking the like button and for saying hi in the comments. Do appreciate you. Have an amazing weekend, and we will talk to you soon. Take care, guys.